Hello, the practitioner here. You know what really pisses me off this week? The fact that, unfortunately, a school board in Barrie um, started making accusations about a young 11-year-old autistic girl being sexually abused based on the fact that uh, a psychic had um, apparently uh, sensed, uh, told that her educational assistant that she uh, had sensed um, the young girl's name and that this young girl had um, was being abused by a man between uh, ages of 23 and 26. Normally, psychic readings might have been discounted, but here's the funny bit. Apparently, the principal of, uh, of, uh, of the young girl's school had actually observed that uh, the girl had been um, exhibiting behavior which would indicate sexual abuse, including sticking her hands down her pants and uh, gratifying herself against staff members. The thing is, this is typical behavior for a young 11-year-old girl with autism. And the thing is, what surprises me is that the school board actually uh, backed the principal on this one 100% to the point where the, <laughs> where the mom actually had, to, um, actually had to withdraw the girl from school. They said that the evidence was the psychic reading coupled with this observation of behavior to formulate a theory of sexual abuse. Of all the stupid bullshit, I mean, you know, it's bad enough that they were drawing on a psychic, but they don't even know the first fucking thing about autism now. Uh, you know, I'm not sure who more to get angry at. The school boards for, you know, uh, the school boards and various institutions for not giving themselves proper education on autism, or the fact that, um, oh, God, actually, you know what, uh, or, the, or the skeptic society, you know, or the various, um, you know, popular level skeptical arguments for not having done a good enough job in educating the public on how to spot fraudulent psychics, you know, or why not to believe in them. I mean, uh, you know, Anyway, I've, I've posted all that on previous videos about why I'm still pissed off about uh, popular level skeptical arguments. Um, well, actually, now I am pissed off because of the fact that, unfortunately, this site, you know, they're not going far enough and they're not doing a thorough enough job in their debunks. I mean, so far, not only have I not seen any skeptics, you know, uh, at least on the popular level, with... You know, not, not only have I seen that very few skeptics on the popular level are properly dealing with the scientific studies, like the Gansfeld and the newer forms, um, and its newer forms and the like, um, but because of the fact that there has not been a single psychic, uh, sorry, not, um, not only, uh, there's not been a, case, a single case of a um, skeptic, to my knowledge, actually pressing to make psychics determined to be another section of fraud under the law. Even worse, I'm not even, um, I mean, I'm pissed at the police force because of the fact that in Canada there actually is a section of that under the criminal law and it's not enforced. You know, I mean, like, you know, we in Canada actually have a, we actually have that law on the books that psychics are fraudulent. Uh, you know, that the fraudulent psychics can be arrested. I mean, this woman, you know, whoever this psychic was, um, again, the links in the, uh, the links to the Barry Explorer article is over in the summary over here. But, you know, I mean, to, Whoever, you know, whoever the psychic was, because of the fact that they, that they nearly, you know, they caused this 11-year-old girl with autism so much trouble, they should be fucking arrested for having, for having, uh, you know, put full, uh, put in a false report. I mean, they're, they're fraudulently claiming psychic abilities. They're, um, taking up valuable resources of the Children's Aid Society. Uh, they, you know, and actually as well, that, that fucking school board should have been kicked out for their lack of under, you know, of understanding of the disability, um, you know, of autism, and, you know, having trusted a fucking psychic in the first place. Okay, like I said, the entire school board should have been kicked out of Barry for that. Anyway, that's my opinion. That's what pisses me off this week. Stay tuned for next week when I find something else in the media that pisses me off. No doubt there will be uh, more problems with uh, psychics and the like being made popular. Oh, and don't get me started in a couple of weeks. Penn and Teller bullshit has started its new sixth season. Uh, this is another note. And guess what? I've heard that... Um, I've heard in another note that uh, they're apparently planning to tackle NASA in episode three. If they start trying to say that NASA is complete bullshit or that we have no need for a space program, I'm going to have a field day debunking those two. Because like I said, um, you know, uh, this is what, and again, Penn, um, for those of you who are watching this, remember, Penn and Teller are not scientists, okay? And if, if they start quoting the Cato Institute by saying that, um, you know, if it turns out that they're saying that NASA is complete bullshit or the space colonization is complete bullshit, there's enough science to counteract the other way. And rest assured, um, actually, you know what? Oh, damn, they probably already filmed that episode. You know what? I'm actually going to find Showtime, um, complain into them, and see if they want to bring me on as a... Uh, 
I'm going to complain to the left, right, and center about this one because if they start trying to debunk space colonization or other stuff like that, this is one more reason why I'm going to have to be pissed at skeptics. Skeptics who are pro uh, most of the popular arguments, both against uh, against psi phenomena and other stuff like that, don't go with properly enough into science and are actually mostly scientifically uh, unbased in a lot of cases. Note that I said the popular arguments, the um, the you know the, the the good quality arguments, um, you know, by the likes of Michael Shermer and the like, are proper are properly scientifically inclined. But, you know, um, I swear, if, if Penn and Teller fuck this one up, um, or, you know, they try to start working on disabilities or stuff like that again, I'm going to have a field day taking those guys down. And the same goes with every other popular skeptic who is, who is crossing over the line of illogic. That's my final piece on that. Stay tuned for next week when I get pissed about something new.